You guys ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Thursday is obviously a, a big day. You guys will travel down this week. What's it like, you, you know, this time of year when, you know, we've been practicing, we've been hitting, we've been fielding, we've been pitching, to know that you're actually going to have an opponent to play? Well, I'm sure everyone knows this. January is always the hardest month. And this season we are just full head of steam. Our first tournaments are some of the hardest we'll play, some of the hardest teams we'll play all season. So it's super exciting to know what we're building up towards and what we're looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, I think we're definitely just really anticipating just, you know, playing a different color. Um, I think I've been saying for like two weeks, I'm so happy that I now no longer have to throw to my own teammates anymore um, ever again. It's great. Um, you know, it's just kind of, it's just really nice to know that we're going to go play someone else and just do something different. Do you feel like this team is a nice mix of veterans like you guys, but you've got an infusion of youth too that are going to have to play a big part? Absolutely. I mean, we have, I would say this, like 10 people who it's our last year maybe and uh, six or seven newcomers with transfers included. So having that mix of just knowing what the culture is and being able to welcome people into it has been so much fun. We haven't had a lot of new people in the past, so to have such a big group now has been amazing. Valerie, last year, uh, player of the year, uh, expectations coming in this year. What, what, what have you done to – kind of keep a level head uh, where the expectations are concerned going into this um, season? I mean, the thing for me this year is, like, I've kind of already done everything that I wanted to do individually. So, like, it's not that I don't want to do those things again, but I, I don't really care. It's, like, way more team-focused. Um, not that the past years weren't, but it's just really focused on, you know, us taking that next step. Um, but also, this is year five. This year was never supposed to happen. So, expectations, like, I don't really care. Um, and it's just kind of, like, all about just playing with my teammates and really just enjoying this last year and just experiencing – whatever this year has for us. What did you guys take away from the Super Regional against Oklahoma? So much. Took away so much from that. Just like we've had heartbreak two years in a row, and so now that it is our last year, we're like, we don't want to end in heartbreak. We want to end with smiles on our face, head, head up high. And so from that, it was like, what did what did we lose in that game? And it, it wasn't softball. It was just, you know, it was a tough team. It was just, it was just heartbreak. And so – um, going into this year, it's just like we're just going to have fun no matter what it is, no matter who we're playing, no matter if it's errors that we're struggling with. If we're just not into it that day, we're going to bring ourselves together and just say, hey, this year we're just going to have fun, all smiles on our faces. In, in a situation like that, I was kind of watching you at the end of that game. You know, do, when you play at that level, does it give you a realization the little things always matter? Yes, absolutely. I actually took a trip. Uh, over break to American Samoa to run camps and so even stuff like that just giving back to people who you know don't really have a lot or don't know a lot about softball it really takes your mind off of huge games like that and it's it's just like we're playing backyard ball so gotta take it one step at a time how long were you on American Samoa? I was there for a week yeah. what was that like for you? it was insane uh, it was my first time there. I got to meet a lot of family that I had never met before, but my dad always tells them about or tells me about them. So it was great just getting to learn about my culture and uh, meet a lot of people and see a lot of new things. What is the key for you guys to finally break through and make make it to the World Series this season? Uh, like I said before, keeping smiles on our faces. I feel like a lot of the times in the past when we get down, we get way down. So softball is a roller coaster, but making sure we're getting. Um, up as high as we can and kind of keeping it consistently up there. Valerie, what's one of the messages you've given to kind of the younger players coming in and how you tried to be a leader for this team? Uh, I think so much of it is like, you know, we've just realized that we we didn't just get here yesterday and it feels like we just got here yesterday and it's already five years. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of things that are going to happen and you're going to have ups and downs, but it's just really about, you know, surrounding you know yourself with people that um, are here with you and just really experiencing whatever, you know, the game kind of you. Valerie, what were the emotions like? I know you clearly didn't want to give up a bunch of runs there, but to see your teammates' success and then, you know, for you to come back in the last inning and have success for yourself. I know this isn't the biggest game you guys have played, but, I mean, it was, you know, it was kind of surprising there. Um, I mean, we, KJ made the joke in our huddle yesterday that last year I gave up 10 runs in one inning in the purple and orange scrimmage and then went on to win player of the year. So, um, again, like, we see our hitters all the time. They see us all the time, and it's just – it's not necessarily – you know, it's great for them to jump on pitches that I miss, and it's great for me to jump on pitches that our other pitchers miss. So it's kind of just that it is what it is. Um, and it always feels good when, you know, I give up seven runs to go ahead and just, you know, give my team a couple back. 
No, Valerie, so you don't really care about outside expectations. When Softball America releases a list of the top players in America and you're number one, I mean, does that mean anything to you? Or? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it definitely means something to me. Like, the, you know, the the preseason stuff, I always have to kind of just, um, you know, put into perspective of it doesn't mean anything for the outcome. Like, I haven't won anything yet, but the recognition is fantastic. And even just for the program itself, um, just where we come from, you know, being year five and already having a player who's, whether it be me or anyone else, already having a player, you know, and two players on that list is incredible. Um, so it definitely means something. It's just, it's not, um, you know, I don't put, uh, like, you know, my, my worth into what those um, awards are. And obviously, again, your, your fifth year, I mean, you start thinking about legacy and kind of like what you want this season to be and what it would mean for you. I mean, yeah, I definitely think that, you know, legacy's kind of been the whole thing our entire careers here. Um, but again, it's just not putting too much pressure on what we got to, you know, like what we want to do and just kind of just letting it happen. Because if you're trying to force something, then it's going to make it a lot harder for it to happen. I guess how do you maintain that perspective? Like, how do you not allow that to become too big of a thing? Um, it definitely, you know, you have days where it's harder than others, but again, just relying on people around you, knowing that you're not in this alone, you have a whole group of people with you. Um, and if you have a bad day, then they're going to pick you up. And if, you know, they have a bad day, it's my job to pick them up. As somebody who's really good, you don't have to change much, but did you come into the season saying maybe a tweak here or there? Or something that I want to get better at or improve on? I mean, there's always things you want to get better on and improve at. Um, for me, it was really nice this year because in the past three of my four years, I've been doing rehabs coming right. back in the fall. And so I haven't been able to spend as much time with KJ in the bullpen. And the other year was COVID, so that also made it hard. Um, so this year, I had the whole fall just to do bullpens. And so just focus on some little you know, things, try and fine-tune some things, work on different pitches. So that was really nice to have. Yeah. Sorry, no, go ahead. Oh, Alex coming over from North Carolina and Nancy from Auburn. I guess what have they added to your team? So it was funny today, Alex said, oh, I don't think we've had this many fans at any UNC game. So it was just cool having those different perspectives. Lindsay has also obviously played here the past two years just with Auburn. And so they give great perspectives when the team is maybe struggling at practice or having a bad day. They're like, hey, I've been through this before in our other programs, or maybe it's something similar that they just, they know what to bring that day to help the team here kind of get out of those situations.